Yo, what is going on guys? It is the SG Recommend today with another Madden 21 video and today we're going to be talking about how to get coins right now in Madden 21. In case you guys didn't know here on the channel, I give you guys a lot of no money spent methods, whether you need coins, training points, XP, trophies. There's videos here on the channel to help you guys out, so go check out the videos if you need some help. And uh, as always, if you have any questions I want to talk about in today's video, make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll answer your comment as soon as possible. Alright, so before I get into the video, I just want to say, uh, at the end I'll be talking about some stuff with the channel and everything like that so if you want to hear some channel news stay tuned to the end of the video all right let's get into it uh first we're going to talk about the market because the market is going to be taking a very big uh downfall here pretty soon uh series four comes out on friday which should be pretty interesting and whenever a new series comes out it means all the auctions uh, all the cards in the auction house go down in price a lot all right so anything within 90 to 91 or anything like between 90 overall to 95 overall is going to have a huge down uh decrease the 96s will probably go down as well, but your your main cards you want to focus on are these three filters right here. If you have cards in these three filters that you're holding on to and you don't plan on using, you should sell them right when you're watching this video. All right, because on Friday, they're going to go down in price a lot. And I mean, you know, 20, 30, you know, just a lot. They're going to go down in a lot of coins. You should sell these cards right now as soon as you can. Uh, even the 96s will go down as well, but... Uh, you know these are still very valuable cards so you might as well save them if you want to and you know if you have a 96 or whatever you could just sell it now and buy it again uh, on Friday because they will go down in price like I said if you're planning on buying cards just stack your coins right now and then buy everything on Friday and Saturday because uh, like I said the market will be down a lot so do not buy any cards right now the only thing you should buy cards for is for training training is down in price a lot right now uh, which it'll obviously go down in price even more on Friday and Saturday but right now the, the market is really good for training these 92s uh, are really good. I talked about this in the last video and everything, but these 92s are a great value, so I recommend you go check those out. Um, like I said, great value uh, from these 92s right now. So if you're looking for training, that is what you're going to do. But like I said, sell all your cards right now if you don't want to use any of them, or if you have some that you're just sitting in inventory. Just get rid of them, because they're only going to get cheaper on Friday, so you might as well get most value from them as possible. Uh, yeah, that's that's really what I got to say about the market. Just be prepared to buy a lot of cards on Friday if you plan on making upgrades to your team because Friday will be the day for that. All right. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is more of a risk, but it has almost always worked out for me in the past, and it's something that I do promote. Uh, only time I promote packs is with these all pros. Uh, I've bought four of them, and I've made a little bit from it. I made about 20K from them uh, just by buying four of them. And you're going to get packs where you don't get very many good things. I'll actually buy one of them right now, which we might not get anything good. But I guarantee two out of these ten packs will actually have something that gets you a lot of profit. You really want to look for platinum cards. I'll open one of these packs now. I'm not going to open too many. Uh, just because I kind of want to save my coins. But these can definitely, these have paid out for not just me, but a lot of people in the past. So that, that was a pretty bad first round. I don't see anything good coming out of this really. Uh... Yeah, this is a bad pack. That was a bad pack. Alright, oh, Richard Sherman, that kind of saved it. He only goes for like 10k though, but... Um, we, we might have almost broke nah, we, we probably lost like 10k right there but still not terrible if you get one card that's like over an 87 or 88 you're making coins all right Richard Sherman is one of the lowest uh, priced 86 overalls in the game so we, we really didn't make much from that uh, like I said I think we lost but those packs are very good the get a golds are not terrible as well I've the get a golds are kind of all over the place sometimes you're gonna get good stuff out of get a gold sometimes it's gonna be terrible so that is that is a much bigger risk if you're looking to buy packs of coins the all pros are the ones for you and uh, you really should not buy any other packs of coins in my opinion it is just way too risky you're gonna get ea would all right so another thing i want to talk about before we start talking about the channel news and everything uh the the legend stuff make sure you're doing these they're super easy all right it's literally they're just giving you free coins basically so you might as well do them uh however if you don't like playing the cpu i totally understand it can be kind of boring uh that's why i don't do these challenges but if you're fine on playing the cpu these are great challenges for you because you can just sell these power-ups you get a power-up for every challenge you complete and you can just sell the power-ups in the auction house which sometimes go for a lot so i recommend you guys do that also make sure you finish your rival stuff i only have one game left which i'm gonna go do that later on today probably but make sure you finish your rival stuff because there's probably gonna be a new rival set coming out with series four there's probably gonna be two or three of them coming out in series four i'm not really sure uh because they missed one last series so we'll see about that but uh, this is easy coins, and you know you want to you want to stay caught up with them because I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a golden ticket at the end of the year if you do all these. All right, uh, these playoff celebration things are not terrible. Really, these are these are only good because you get a free player, you get a free 95. So if you want a free 95 overall card on your team, this is not a bad option for you. All right, literally all you have to do is get 60 stars. Super easy. Recommend you guys do that if you're looking for a free player. Really good for no money spent. I like that. Okay. 
Also, to save yourself some coins, you're going to want to finish these weekly challenges out, the 50 weekly, because you get a free 96 overall card that you can pick yourself uh, right here with week, uh, what's it called? Week, uh, tier 16. I think that's pretty much just week 16. Pretty sure. Um, I guess it's week 15. That's what it's saying right there. But yeah, you get a free 96 overall card. So basically, you can get Randy Moss for free, Deion Sanders for free, Lawrence Taylor for free, Michael Vick. Any of those guys you can get for free just from picking that pack. So make sure you guys do that. I'll, I'm probably going to finish it pretty soon. I want to have it done by Weekend League. I didn't get to play last week's Weekend League because I was just a little too busy. I've been too busy. It's like finals week right now for me. So that's why I haven't really been posting very much. We'll talk about it in a second. But that's really it for the coins, guys. Um, I forgot to do shouts in the last video as well. So we have a lot of shouts to do. So I'm going to get through this channel stuff as soon as possible. This week might be a little bit inconsistent because I got finals going on, like I said. So. The videos might be a little inconsistent, but I'll still try to do my best. I at least have a video out on Friday because I know Friday's going to be absolutely mayhem with the new series coming out. I want to get a video on Wednesday and Friday. That's really my goal. Or at least two videos this week, during the week, and then more on more on the weekends as well. So that's that's kind of my goals for this week. Um, yeah, that's really that. We're going to do a shout out today right now. In case you guys don't know, I do shouts in every single video. If you want to get shouted out, all you have to do is comment on this video, and I'll shout you out in the next video. All right, so here we go. Uh, shout outs go to... I'm pretty sure I didn't do shoutouts in the last video. I could be wrong, but I don't think I did. So I'll just shout them out again, uh, even if I did shout them out last time. So here we go. Shoutouts on the last video go to Morningstar336, Troy Hewitt17. I still need to contact you about the uh, giveaway, which I I left a guy. At the time of me recording this video, I would have left a comment uh, on your comment. So that's that. Algen Tunser, Beast Bro, Dawson Hunter, Zach Deemer, Ant Cave, George Washington, Yolk Face. Uh, Hunter Hawkins, Samuel Puente, Boston Pratt, and uh, then for the video before that, we have I don't I don't think I did I don't think I did shots in this video. I could be wrong, but I don't think I did. Uh, here we go. Hunter Hawkins once again. Connor Kenslow, uh, Camilo Montoya. I probably butchered that name. Hopefully I didn't. Uh, Richard Keelan, Ego Twizzy, Samuel Puente, Algen Tunser, uh, Spencer Tupo. Yokeface and Boston Pratt. Thank you all so much for commenting on the last two videos. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll talk to y'all later. Stay safe for me, and peace out.